What's up YouTube fans? Today we're going to be unboxing and taking a look at the Bandai VF25 Messiah Valkyrie, which is from, of course, Macross. So there is a little bit of crossover here with Transformers because the original Jetfire toy design was a Macross design. But this is not that. This is a different style jet. Um, I think this is a premium style toy. But anyway, it says uh, take off Macross worldwide. Got some nice shiny packaging there. Here's the back. You get all the product shots. Of course, you get the girl walk mode. You get the jet mode and then you get the robot mode and we'll see what we get here inside. Now we're going to transform it here. I have to kind of figure it out, but we're going to at least open it and check out what we get here. Now, and I've never owned one of these. I owned a, I think it was a Bandai uh, VF1S, which is of course the version that Jetfire is based on. It was a really cool figure, but I just, I wasn't into collecting the uh, props. But this is very similar packaging to what we get with like Solo Jagokin line. Nice, thick, big book here. Let's, let's take a look at this. I'm going to have to open it anyway. And since this was sent to me by Mr. G. Tony, I might as well look at the manual because he likes to see the manual. Really nice quality book here. There's all the accessories. And then I think this is talking about all the features. There's a lot going on here. Wow. All right, and there's, I guess, transformation. Man, there is a lot of stuff in here. All right, you got his flight stand, which of course, gotta have a flight stand with this jet. So there's transformation to robot mode. Looks pretty involved. There's Gerwalk, and then there's robot mode. Pretty cool. Of course, I'll have to take a look at that in more detail. Let's take a look at this. So you get the stand here. Might as well take all these pieces out. And like I mentioned, I've never, I haven't handled one of these since VF1S. I just remember the packaging for that one said, do you remember love on the front? I always found that funny that it said that on the front. And I also remember the name Roy Fokker. <laughs> the name of the pilot was Roy Fokker. So I always found that funny too. Uh, let's see, this looks like it's going to mount like this. Just kind of guessing, but... Let's set this aside for now and take a look at this. So it looks like you get the gun, the jet, some alternate hands here, his knife, and then the pilot. So let's get this open. This is uh, interesting packaging. It's kind of a blister pack. It's got those little things to keep it together. So let's see, here's the little pilot. Very simple. I assume that fits in the cockpit. Here's your alternate hands. These feel a lot like the Gundam Gundam universe. In fact, they look almost identical in terms of the plastic, but they've got a the little bit extra paint detail there. I'm just gonna set all those aside. There's a lot of them in there. You've got the straight hands as well. I guess they're for saluting, I'm not even sure. And then you get the gripping hands there. So we'll set those aside. You get the sword, which is painted in green and black. Here's his gun. And that's painted in purple, green, and then bronze for the handle. Kind of looks like a fish, <laughs> the way it's designed. We'll take a look at that. And here is the jet, pretty cool. It's got some protection here for the wings, so we'll just set that down. So here it is. Pretty cool. Uh, it kind of feels like, oh, how do I describe it? It's got some die cast in it, um, but it feels sort of like other Bandai, um, premium products, um, but there's also a feel of 
the plastic is a little thin, but it is hefty, this whole thing overall. Oh, you can open up the cockpit. That looks really cool. Yeah, I definitely have to check this out and figure out all the features. I know there's a lot. There's a lot that this can do. Um, I'm just poking around here, but... There's a piece here that does something. Yeah, I'm going to have to figure all that out. I don't want to break anything, so I'm going to read the instructions. Uh, but really cool looking jet. Uh, thanks to G-Tony for sending this for review. It's not something I would normally look at, so I appreciate that. So we'll get this uh, checked out. So stay tuned for the review. We'll see you then.